In this video, we're going to talk about how you can begin using the data collected when you make a call or send an email using playbooks. We'll start off by looking at the pre-built activity reports, and by the end of this training, you should be able to create your own activity dashboard that contains all these reports. To begin, we'll go to the Reports tab in Salesforce, and there should be a Playbooks folder. If you don't see the Playbooks folder, you should speak with your system admin to see if the folder exists and if you have access to it. We're going to start by looking at this Calls by Rep Today report. At first glance, I would be seeing calls that I made today because that is what the report is showing, my activities. But since I'm a manager and I didn't make any calls today, I'm going to change this to my team's activities. I'm also going to change the date range to show me calls made this week. And in a moment, I'll break it down by day in the chart so I can see at a quick glance how my reps have done over the course of the entire week. Now when I run the report, I'll see some data. Next, let's look at the filters. Playbooks step type equals phone. When Playbooks creates a task for calls made, it'll stamp the activity with the value phone in the Playbooks step type field. And that's how we know the call was made using Playbooks. This pre-built report has all the details exposed, which is super helpful if I want to drill down into specific calls made by my reps and see the records that they were calling and specific details about the calls. But our intention for this report is to have a quick at-a-glance report of calls made this week. So I'm going to click Hide Details. Now, I'd like to see calls made each day of the week instead of a lump sum. So I'll click Customize, then I'll remove the call type field and add in the date field. Now when I run the report, I'm seeing the data I was looking for. Now let's update the chart. I'll click Edit and change the Group By option to Date. And select the Stacked Grouping option to display the sum total of the calls made, but group the days by color. Now when we click Run Report, we get a great at-a-glance report that I can add to the dashboard. And as a manager, I can see what my team's progress is for the entire week. The next thing I want to do is save this report so that it keeps all my changes and is ready to be added into a dashboard. So I'll click Save As, I'll name it Calls This Week, and in the description I'll clarify that the data is grouped by day. Select your folder, then click Save and Return to Report. Excellent! Now I've got a report that was built off a canned report to show me how my team is doing on calls day over day for the week. The report tells a story that can lead to coaching opportunities with my team. Now we're going to take this weekly calls report we just built and modify it to show us the calls made from a play versus click-to-call dials. With the click-to-call feature enabled, a rep can go to any record in Salesforce, click on a phone field, and a phone call is initiated. This report gives us a great adoption tool to know which reps are using the prescribed cadence we gave them in a play and which are going rogue. The first step is to customize the report. The filter is the same, playback step type equals phone, but instead of drilling into the date the call was made, we're going to add the playbook's play name. Now when I run the report, I see the plays that are being actively used, but I also see the calls in this blank column, which indicate no play name. These are the click-to-call dials. We can see here in the report that Andrew has made the most click-to-call dials, but to be fair, he has been making dials on the tactician play. As an adoption tool, I would be looking for a large number of click-to-call dials and a low number of play dials. We can also make this chart more effective to convey this information at a glance. If we change the group by option to playbook's play name and keep the side-by-side -side option, then click OK. Then run the report, two things become immediately obvious. One, the tactician play is getting the most use and I have a rep that is only making click-to-call dials. You can see that by that single blue line. They're not making any play dials. This information can be tied to adoption, so I'm going to save this report as adoption-dials. In the description, I'll clarify play dials versus click-to-call and select your folder. All right, so these reports we just created, calls this week and adoption dials, they can be modified to actually just display email tasks. So if I go into the Calls This Week report, then Customize, and change the Playbook Step Type filter to equal Email, 
then I run the report, I'll be shown just email tasks. So I can do that to both these reports. Be sure to save your email reports after you create them. Now that you've got reports which display dials and emails individually, it could be helpful to see them all together. In the Playbooks folder, you'll find the Prospecting Activities by Rep This Week report. This report shows me dials, emails, and other activities. This report can give you one more facet of the whole picture, but again, you may need to change some of the date and filter options to display the data you're looking for specifically. Then be sure to save the report after you've made those changes. The other activity reporting metric to be aware of is call duration. So if you go to reports, then your playbooks folder, then open the report called talk time by rep daily. This report will get you started with the duration of a call made through playbooks. Combining all we've discussed today, you should be able to create your own activities dashboard displaying calls and emails individually and together, and also adoption and talk time reports. Be sure to check out our other reports videos and articles at help.insidesales.com.